Peter Bruninger with avshowrooms.com and I'm here in the MBL suite at CES 2012 with Jurgen Reese from MBL. Hello. Hello. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> I've, so. I've been listening to your products for so many years. Yeah. It's wonderful to meet you in person and to have you give us a personal tour of the products you have here at CES. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, so come, come around if you like. I, I really would love to. So. Here we have uh, our largest flagship loudspeaker, the MBL 101 Extreme. So uh, uh, it is uh, this omnidirectional technique we are famous for. And uh, the reason why we have doing, uh, done this is that we want to create a sound uh, field with a playback that is very similar to the actual sound field when you hear to a live performance. So if you are listening to a live performance with real musicians, you have real sources and if you want to, uh, if you listen playback uh, to music, you have phantom sources and so the loudspeaker has to create uh, these phantom sources in a similar way that a live performer does create the sound pressure. So with this system, you have the same uh, capability that you can sit on several places and uh, still enjoy the sound stage. You have uh, um, the same tonal characteristics of the instruments, no matter if you are sitting in front of a speaker or in sideways. So this is very unique with this uh, speaker and also very unique technique to uh, have this 360 degree. Uh, radiation patterns. It, it sure is, and in fact, I coined the phrase, it's your own personal concert. Yeah, yeah. that's right, yeah. Uh, now, these are, uh, these started life years ago. Uh, these were, and are, MBL 101E stacked on top of each other upside down. Uh, this is the basic idea. So, uh, you see this three systems, the tweeter and the mid-range and the bass section, which is very, very similar to our regular MBL 101 system. And we have stacked this upside down in a so-called De Apolito arrangement. And with this arrangement, we uh, transport the sound waves much more into the room compared to this more open structure. and. Uh, uh, compared to our 101 uh, system, we have here added uh, an active subwoofer tower and with this subwoofer tower we have on uh, each cabinet Let's two 12-inch drivers with a sandwich uh, aluminum membrane and so we have in total six of these 12-inch drivers. This is active driven system so uh, we can adjust the level of the tower also, we can adjust the Q factor, which uh, determines the damping of the system in the room if you want to have it more dry or more full. And also, what's very important, we can uh, adjust the time delay between the main system and the subwoofer tower. So, uh, you can put the system side by side as we have done it here, or you can move more away and we can adjust electrically that uh, the uh, signals on both systems will add to the same time as a listener. I've seen it photographed with uh, the main module in one part of the room and the base module off to the side. It's yeah. very striking looking that way. Yeah. So electronically you can uh, manipulate that so that the image is time aligned at the listening yeah. position. Yeah, this is very important that because is. Uh, the uh, Goal is that uh, even you have these large tower modules that you will not recognize that and this module is playing is must uh, integrate absolutely homogeneous into the sound field. So this melon produces actually the most part of the bass and this just adds the, the very low bottom the, end the to it. punch all the balls. Yes, ah, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, Let's that look is. at this side over here, Jurgen. Now, yeah. what do uh, what do they weigh? Uh, the units, and they they are they come apart in two or three pieces. The the main unit. Totally, each side come apart with five units. So this uh, three uh, cabinets are stuck uh, on each other. You can remove each cabinet, and uh, this uh, complete tower comes into two units. So. You see the mounting point here in the middle, so you stuck uh, upside down this upper unit and then you secure this with screws that will not uh, fall apart or will be, uh, not vibrate any, at all. Um, How many people does it take to set uh, uh, the system up? Uh, 
it uh, does uh, need for people to, to be, uh, lift this up because you have to hold it in free and free air mm -hmm. and you have to uh, fit this uh, mm -hmm. supporting rods. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when it's done, you can enjoy the music. Well, it is one of the most beautiful, if not the most beautiful loudspeaker uh, made today. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So the, the basic function is that we have here banded segments and uh, these segments are fixed on one side and uh, mounted on the other side on a moving coil and when the moving coil moves up it bends more outwards. These segments are arranged around the middle axis so with the outgoing moving coil you get an increase of the volume and create the sound pressure wave. What you do not see is we have a center rod in the middle that holds the complete system together. And so we have the, the larger segments for the base. We have a, a, this a, a tinier segments uh, for the mid-range and the smallest segments here for the for the tweeter. This is I have also the thinnest mm -hmm. uh, and the lightest for the more uh, faster sound that is necessary for this tweeter mm -hmm. uh, reproduction.